in the present. Oh, yes. And a quick look at the future. Sunday is Easter. It's Easter, yeah. You're celebrating with the Julianos. Yes. I'm celebrating with the Mets. Yeah. Uh, most of you will be celebrating at home, and maybe you want to make a delicious Italian feast. Why not? Mm -hmm. what, literally, I always want to make a delicious feast. <laughs> Andrew Cotto is the editor-in-chief of Appetito, a digital platform. It's dedicated to Italian food and drinks. Sounds marvelous. Yes. He joins us live this morning. Welcome to New York Living. Thank you for having me. I'm thrilled. Oh, and, and man. And how are you? Where are you going to be celebrating Easter? I'll be at home in Brooklyn with my family having this exact same meal I'm having with you guys today. So we're the trial run. Well, I was yeah. going to say, which we can't try because he's just going <laughs> to save it. He's <laughs> bagging it all up. I wish. And fridging it till Sunday. I don't think the staff will let that happen here. No, exactly. <laughs> No, they won't let it leave the, leave the building. That's right. Okay. We gotta start with the antipasto. Of course. What do you have for us today? I'd like to sort of farm some things out. This is made for me by my pals at ALC Alimentari on Third Avenue in Bay Ridge. Shout out Shout to Bay Ridge. Yes. I, I guess I probably could put this together myself, but it would take me about eight hours. <laughs> yeah. And so I paid for that. Um, it goes, it pairs with this Prosecco from Neonetto. Excellent. Right? It's Love a great that. way to start, get your appetite going before you move on to the main course. But you, but you know, I, the thing is, I could make a meal of the antipasto. The Italian antipasto is. Delicious. Divine. So I have to pace myself. I right. see chocolate on this as well. There's chocolate on there, yeah. Isn't that cute? Chocolate, cheese, There's mozzarella, olives, two kinds of cheese, the tortelli, um, some cured meats, some um, some peppers. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and have a tortelli. Oh, two, good. Two, I'm going to have an olive, if that's Please, okay. Please, help yourself. Okay. Go for it. I, gosh. And you know, we'd be remiss if we didn't also try the mionetto because he said you have to have the mionetto, the prosecco with the mm. antipasto. And I'm rude. I'm talking the food in my mouth. Here Thank you, you. Wait for me. Oh, wait, oh, wait, we'll wait. Away from sir. Him. A bit rude of us. Cheers. Salute. Mm. Bon Pasqua. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, is what you have brought indicative of a traditional Italian Easter supper? That's a great question. Supper? It's, it's, it's rooted in that, for sure. Right? Okay. So, so at Appetito Magazine, we're really championing, you know, a regional Italian food. At Easter, we're doing um, sort of a Roman-inspired Okay. Th um, holiday. Uh, so that. lamb in Rome is classic potatoes, the peas and pancetta, which I'll make in a minute, the fennel and orange salad, of course, right? That's very, very Roman. Oh. I kind of elevated it. You know, I like to well, like take you. these old things. That's and, well, and, you should. I know, why not? All right. right. Um, and so what I did for this lamb here is I had it butterflied by my butcher in Bay Ridge, <laughs> Anthony, butcher in shout Delhi. Shout out to Anthony. Yeah, shout out to Anthony. Um, he butterflied it for me. He said, let your butchers do work for you. Let your right. fish purveyor do work for you. Let your pals at the alimentari do work for you. It makes your life easier. I stuffed it, though with pesto, prosciutto, and roasted red peppers. Okay, you know, wow. Rolled it, tied it. This was me last night, tying the, 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 <laughs> the string. It's really a tedious process. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of work. Um, and you spruced it up with a sprig of rosemary? Uh, with a little sprig of rosemary. The rosemary really is paired with the potatoes, which are um, roasted in duck fat. Oh, my which goodness. Which is, I mean, I could eat that every That's day. That's divine. Holy divine. smokes. Right. So you buy this at the butcher, you buy this wherever you're going to get it, you put it in the oven at what and for how long? It went in the oven at 450 for about, about an hour. An hour. Right. Okay. Everybody's oven's different. I, sure. I, I'm always, it, you got to calibrate it. you got a baby. It, you got right? a baby. And, and, um, and let's keep an eye on this because she yeah. likes to get hot fast. She does get hot fast. Yeah. Huh? All um, right. I like this business. All this meats and potatoes and duck fat and salt, it goes great with the, with the fennel and I'm the gonna orange, right? I'm going to come around here. This is going to cleanse your palate. Right? It's going to keep your, your mouth fresh. It goes great with the wine. Of course, we're drinking with the main meal. We're drinking um, some Chianti Classico. You know, why don't you put a little salad on our plate? I'm going to put a little salad Let's now. Let's be classy, bro. Sure. Andrew, Alex just turned over a new citrus leaf. I did. Uh, oh, she loves oranges <laughs> and she didn't like clementines, Aww. but now she likes. She I, like, I, I, um, I, I no longer discriminate against any citrus at this point. What I'm is so this happy dressed you. with, um, Chef? Pito I'll, extra virgin olive oil. Oh, That's there's, it. there's no vinegar because the, the acid comes from the oranges. I love right? this. Yeah. Okay. I love this. And I love how you call me chef, even though I'm not a chef. I'm I know. A, I'm you a writer. Oh, In okay. her own but chef writer. sounds better In than a writer. In her kitchen, yeah. she is also a chef. I'm a good cooker. I'm going to turn According this off for you, Bern. Okay. Side. I'm going to get some peas in here. All right. Oh. So now, how have you prepared? So you're just putting a little bit of olive oil. Mm. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that. Yeah, so there was some. Hold like, on. You say you're just a writer, but you just wielded that saucepan. Oh, that I'm, I'm a really good cook. <laughs> but I'm just not He's a, a really good writer. I'm a, I'm a really good writer and a really good cook, but it's not a, a, a chef. You're not a classically yeah. trained. Okay, I'm not fine. classically trained. That's okay, fine. so what happens in this pancetta? Okay, so with the pancetta, I took some pancetta, obviously, um, and some white onion and, and minced the onion down and rendered the pancetta, let the fat ease out of it. Okay. Put the onions in the fat, so the onions are cooking in the fat. Yep. Then I toss in my um, the peas, which are frozen peas. Right? You can use a frozen pea. Frozen no peas are, like, are better than fresh peas. Okay. If you're using fresh oh. peas, make sure you blanch them first. You know, throw them in, in salted water and shock them in cold water. But frozen peas are the best. Mm -hmm. right? um, you heat it up, 
I'm gonna put a little bit of Prosecco in there. Oh. In the peas, in, in the, the In the, the peas. Every, everybody drinks on Easter. <laughs> Including the peas. Even the peas. Even the peas drink. Now right? talk to us, so I understand that you are uh, very big about Italian food as a source of wellness, which I feel like you don't hear a lot about. No. Well, look at the fun we're having right now. Okay. Yes. Right? We're not, uh, this is. And, we just uh, we, met. We, we'd be having fun anyway, I'm sure. But like yes. the fact that we're talking about Italian food, it, it makes me happy. Yes. yes. It makes you happy. We're yes. going to eat really good food. Yes. Right? And, the, and I, I truly believe the consumption of high quality foods Right, prepared by you or by someone who cares, right, and sharing them with people that that, that you that just met or have <laughs> known your whole life, right, it provides wellness, right. It's it what what it's my church, right. It's what makes me happy in here, life, here. right. And I think that we should really champion that and and appreciate it and practice it more. And we should we should not be having dinner by ourselves looking at our phones. Here, right? here, wow, yeah, our sir, a well-rounded experience. How long do we have to cook this for until we can eat it? That there, comes together fast. No, that, yes, the peas cook like that. All right. I'd say it's ready. All right, let me have that plate. I'm going to give you some meat. Okay. Uh, do we have any food events coming up this week? We oh. do, actually. So, Tell uh, us. as well as my job as the editor in chief and co founder of Appetito Magazine, I am the, the, the food editor of the Brooklyn Eagle. Oh. Uh, the venerable newspaper from Brooklyn. Excuse you, yes, sir. Yes, and we Thank have a, a dining club tomorrow <gasps> night. At Social at 320 Court Street in Carroll Gardens, I'll be giving my lecture about Italian food as the inspiration for my writing. Right, so Italian food is my muse, I say. Right? And I'm going to be talking to the, um, uh, the people there who come, and hopefully you will come. Yes. Um, you tickets are available watching? at the Brooklyn Eagle website um, via Eventbrite, mm -hmm. and we're going to have a four-course wine-soaked meal. I'll wine talk about how meal. Italian food made me the, made me into a writer. Unbelievable. You guys come? I would love to be there. This is great. This, this is, is very fantastic. refreshing, this, uh, this fennel situation. Hey, with yeah. Thank you again for joining mm -hmm. us. Thank you for having me. Imparting your wisdom, sharing your love of food, because we love that sort of thing. We also love food. Day.